It's all right. Ohio State community paying tribute to what many people say was a man who just brightened their day, Curtis Cunningham. He was a well-known face around campus, often greeting people at Buckeye Donuts on North High Street and 18th. NBC 4's Jonathan Jackson joining us now live from the newsroom. Jonathan, we're, we're learning that students and staff there kind of put up a memorial now in his honor there, right? That's right, Brad. Just at the intersection of 18th and North High Street, you can see flowers, candles, and letters, all from people who came to love Cunningham and his heartwarming smile. Have a great day. Look, if you're having a bad day, come see me. It's the words he'd say every day and to everyone. Have a great day now. For Curtis Cunningham, it was a simple greeting, but for everyone else he met, it came to mean so much more. I think he did it because he just, he loved people. And if he actually took a moment to talk to him, he was more than just that phrase. Cunningham was well known throughout OSU's campus for giving out greetings or a friendly smile here at the intersection of North High Street and 18th, right next to Buckeye Donuts, and became a community figure for both the staff and students who saw him every day. No matter who you are, you knew who he was if you lived on Ohio State campus. And it was just depressing to hear about it because who's going to cheer you up now? That's Dalton Perkins, an employee at Buckeye Donuts. He says they learned that Cunningham died yesterday. And the other staff say just his presence alone will be greatly missed. You keep an eye out on things and kind of look out for people as best you could. Which is why the restaurant put up this memorial in his honor along with the board for people to write out their final goodbyes. What would you write on the board? I said I'm going to miss you because I would see him like every day. Now again, the restaurant says they were informed of Curtis's passing yesterday, but have not been made aware of the circumstances surrounding it. Local for you in the newsroom, I'm Jonathan Jackson, NBC4.